what can a fall lead to so as simple as if you happen to hit, hit your head then that will lead to something like a traumatic brain injury that's the tbi and emergency hospital admissions now obviously not everybody is so unfortunate to land into such situations then second thing is fractures and dislocations very common to have fractures in your hip wrist and your shoulder these are the commonest ones seen but that doesn't mean that you cannot damage other parts of your body obviously and if at all obviously you're afraid you're about say you're 60 years old and you have a hip fracture what would that need lead to something like a total hip replacement because that's all you can possibly do that would need lead to all secondary complications related to your surgery so if you do not have strong muscles to to actually sit you up and you uh, get back to your functioning as you were before it will lead to something all of these like utis that is urinary tract infections because obviously when you have a surgery you would be catheterized so that will lead to after you have a catheter put in then that's again a, a complication leading to urinary tract infection pressure sores are common chest infections are common so we do not want you to land up in any of these situations or your relative or your caregiver or whoever around here so that is something that you need to be aware of what it can lead to so that you know what it can lead to and obviously try and prevent it right and last but not the least physical disabilities and dependency on carers so nobody would want to be dependent on anybody in their life so that is what we need to avoid in the first place can we change